cream and waffles or apple pie, something it's delicious. It's crazy. It's, oh. I mean, I've never, I've never had this happen before. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from unless it's the golden pear. Maybe this is when they cook all their desserts, but this is outrageous and unfair. everybody we're on our way to the Hamptons for the Parish Museum Midsummer Party we're really excited and we want you to come along with us we have arrived we came on the road and then we went to where we're staying we unpacked we had a call we freshened up and now we are back in the car and we are headed to Main Street to San Ambrose for dinner. We are already starving. I don't know what time it is, but it's not yet time for dinner, so we still have, I think it's quarter till six. We can kind of bop around town, show off our, ooh, is that wow, like oh Lord. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, oh, it's a yellow flashing light. <laughs> and then this one's green. Very confusing, oh. I'm telling you, every time you film, <laughs> I'm a bad driver. And <laughs> Bibi, what are you most excited about at San Ambrose for dinner? The things that I would really want to eat tons of would be their fabulous bread, obviously their desserts, I mean, and pasta. It's crazy. And I think I'm just going to do it. <gasps> not, in, not in extreme, but I, but I am going to have a little bit of it. I heard a doctor today on Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast. She's a nutritionist, I think, but she was talking about that. She said, I love French pastries. I love to bake French pastries. And I just don't have them all the time. I just have them every once in a while. And that's okay. Tonight, let's get all three. Let's get pasta, bread, and dessert. And then we won't talk about it again. Is that a good plan? I guess so, but the problem is we haven't been depriving ourselves of dessert and bread and yes, pasta. No, I'm saying we have been. Oh. So oh. we might, we would have a tendency to go overboard, which is a little concerning, but you can always bounce back. You just cut it out for two weeks and you start feeling better. Well, we have each other, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a good job. And the other health hint I have that someone else told me was that if you take the bread, if it's like French bread and you take out that middle part and just do the crust, if the crust in the olive oil, that's better for you than eating the whole piece of bread and then you feel like you've had the bread. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> What should we get, baby? We're going big. We're going all in. So we have, as far as vegetarian, one that sounds really good to me is this ravioli della casa. Homemade spinach and ricotta ravioli, butter, and 24 month age parmigiano. Parmigiano. Parmigiano reggiano. Reggiano. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and then. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Fava beans, green peas, asparagus, roasted red onion, traditional genovese, asparagi, 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 and gnocchi. And then desserts. Dolci. La dolce vita. Are your earrings rosy, Asselin? They are. They are. And I, I have They were actually these are the ones I got for you. I got some blue ones too. You remember? Yeah, I have ago? the blue ones. Okay. Well, I forgot about them, and then I pulled them out. I was like, "Is this too much?" No. And then I thought, "Go for it. It's summertime. Have fun." Never too much. Yeah. Never too much. Good morning. We have started the day by going to the Bandier store in Southampton for a run with Jamie. 5K, which is 3.1 mile running session. I participated in the run. Mom got to do some content and catch up with family members. And now we are headed to East Hampton to the Pollock Krasner House, which is Jackson Pollock's studio so we this has been on our list for such a long time we're very excited to get to go yes definitely you were nice not to totally haze me that I didn't do the 5k <laughs> run not sure if I 
ever done a 5K run or that I ever will. But I am exercising now, so that's <laughs> of utmost importance. Running is just not something I ever learned how to do because of dance, wrong muscles. But anyway, I'm really hoping that we are heading in the right direction for East Hampton and not the opposite direction. I'm trusting my navigator, Delia, because my instincts are always the opposite, the exact opposite of the way I'm supposed to go. So, I'm happily going the way I feel like I'm not supposed to go and I'm sure it's correct. <laughs> None of the Google Maps are working. So, I think maybe we'll just go down Main Street and hopefully ride through the towns and at some point we'll get there. I don't know. I mean, you've looked at the map so many times. I know, and we've been here so many times now. But I like to just look at the what's going on, you know, all the nice new shops and what's new, what's old. I, lit I just have no sense of direction. It's very frustrating. But I remember when you were little. Should I just keep going straight? Um, okay, wait. Let's turn left. Okay. I... Oh. What does it say? Take a left? Or wait, no. Go straight. Go straight. Shoot. Okay. Anyway, Granddaddy would give me those compasses to put on my car, on my dashboard, before they had uh, garments and everything. But of course I didn't know how to read a compass. So you would be sitting in your car seat in the back seat and you would be going, Mommy, are we lost again? And I would say, well, just a little bit, but it's okay, we're gonna find our way. And you would say, use the, the thing from Granddaddy. And of course I said, okay, we're going north, but we're still lost. So we always found our way eventually, but anyway, it's great to have the Maps apps on your phone. Now that's just a lifesaver for me and anyone else that has bad sense direction. Because it's not like we're not trying for the most part. It's just that it's just not in our head. I can see where I'm going. I can see where I am. But I can't do the in-between of how to get there, which is just ridiculous. Here's Parrish. <gasps> this is where we're going tonight. Woohoo! The coolest building. It's so long. Does it look like they're setting up? Yeah, it kind of does. See all those boxes and everything? That's yeah. where the dinner will be. So far, we're not doing so hot. We're trying we're to find it. Ridgehampton Jail. From 1907, a wheelwright shop. That is hysterical. I mean, look at that. That is the smallest jail I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for the entrance. No, this is the tractor barn. I'm sure this is the right place. No. Okay, this is not the right place. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. No. It's, well, we came in, it said museum parking only, so it has to be close. We found it, we were right here before, and then we just took a total detour. This is connected to Dia Beacon, I guess. So that was just the most interesting thing that just happened to us. First we got totally lost walking through a field as usual and then we go in to see the Dan Flavin and we're upstairs and then this very interesting possibly German um, Heiner Friedrich was his name. He said it so fast I, I couldn't really understand what he was saying but he talked to us and talked to us and just said so many interesting Thing. Sometimes it was hard to understand it, but then he wanted to take pictures with us and 
He was with a friend who he said he had just met this morning on the beach, but the friend said, you have no idea who you're getting your picture taken with, but I did already figure out that he was someone very special and he just kept talking to us and talking about all these different things we need to go to. Some of them though were in the artist's backyards and I was a little nervous about maybe trespassing at Richard and Sarah's backyard situation or someone who has some things behind the Richard and Sarah installation. I, I don't really know. It was a lot in a short time but he was just the kindest man and I think we just got blessed in this little magical way. You never know what's going to happen in your life. <laughs> That's for sure. We're driving through Bridgehampton, zipping pippin' all the way back to South Hampton. Preparation of our big night. We have come to Juice Press to get some energy. We have some delicious iced coffee, which I love this iced coffee. It's very clean and delicious, energizing. Okay, we're headed back to get ready for the big night. Parish Art Museum Midsummer Party. Ciao. Finishing touches before tonight. It is time for the Parish Art Museum Midsummer Party. We could not be more excited. This is what we revolved the weekend around this party and I am on the late night committee Turn late right night on Tabata Highway party host committee which I am so excited about and most everyone on the committee grew up coming out here so I am really excited to be a part of such a great crew I think Larry Milstein has created this incredible community and we are excited to be a part of it. Phoebe, who are you wearing tonight? I'm very excited about this beautiful yellow dress. I feel like a Grecian goddess or something. You are. <laughs> um, it is by Recreo, Recreo San Miguel. And um, all of, it's all silk, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Very simple, but really makes a statement. And not to mention the fact that it's super comfortable. So I'm mm. very excited about that. Stunning. What about your dress? And this is by Mestiza. I was telling you about it before. So the late night party, the theme is Midnight Metallics. And Mestiza had just the dress. So this is green and metallic. So a very light, pale green. And really, really uh, shiny. Shot and bright, baby. Yes, yeah, so we are thrilled to be representing two of our favorite brands. I'm bringing a Jeffrey Levinson handbag, Min ODA. Thrilled, baby has a Clarissa Bronfman cuff that she's wearing. So, my Wonder Woman cuff. Oh, baby, you are Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting thing. A lot of people don't understand or don't equate the when you think of the Hamptons, you don't think about the arts necessarily. But there is an incredible arts community. So many artists are out here. There is a beautiful museum. It's called the Parish Museum. And it is in the middle of this meadow. The building itself is just so beautiful, very simple and lovely. And it houses great art. And this event that we're going to tonight is to benefit that museum. Okay, we'll see you at the park. For tonight. Oh, what is my song I like? On the floor. Tonight we're gonna dance on the floor. Oh yeah. Tonight we're gonna dance on the floor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we're arriving. This is it. This is it, Phoebe. Are you prepared? Take a I'm deep so breath. So prepared. We have great anticipation of the night ahead. Who are we gonna see? Who are we gonna see that we know? Who are we gonna meet new? Is there gonna be yummy food, vegetarian options? Oh, that's my biggest concern. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, here's the scene. So here's the check-in line. A little bit of mayhem with everyone arriving.
try this one here. Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Yes, get in here. Get in my belly. Time to pick out some ice cream. Okay, tell us the flavors. We have chocolate and raspberry. Chocolate. You want chocolate? Oh my god. What about you? I guess I'll have the same. Oh, yum. So, BB is going to do a taste test of the chocolate ice cream. How is it? Totally busted eating dessert, but it's fabulous. So long, farewell. I'll need to say good night. Good feeling a little tired this morning since last night was later than we are usually up but it was most definitely worth it. It was so much fun. I just every time you're there you just can't get over the, the beauty of the place. And the honorees were Louise and Leonard Reggio and Leonard started Barnes & Noble and what was so crazy about that is that Heiner Friedrich had told us to go to his house that day to see their incredible sculpture garden and then the event that we went to that knock night on the door yeah they were the honorees and so we got to meet them and hopefully we'll get to go and see their collection next time and the other honoree was Maya Lynn who is an artist and architect and all three of them are extremely accomplished people and lovely and lovely and so I mean, the party was just incredible. You have to go next time. I mean, we couldn't walk. We never made it past this little teeny section for so very long because we kept seeing people we knew and talking to them and meeting new people. And looking back, I think maybe three years ago when I went by myself and mom did not go with me and I really probably knew no one. No one. And But I knew of some people, so I would go up and introduce myself. And then now, three years later, I'm on the host committee for the late night party, we know a lot of people and we got to meet new people and say, oh, that person looks so interesting. I wonder who they are. So this is not a party to miss if you did not go this year. Hopefully we will see you there next year. Let us know if you have any questions about yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Signing off from the Style That Binds Us team, thanks for joining us today as we went on a new adventure in the Hamptons. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Please comment, follow us on Instagram. We want to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.